This is the second tutorial on WebEx polls. The first tutorial taught you how to create WebEx polls. This tutorial tells you how to execute them and how to find them after the meeting is over. It doesn't matter if you're using WebEx Meeting Center, Training Center, or Event Center. The default settings for WebEx polls are identical. Within that live session, the responses to the WebEx polls will be anonymous. But at the end of the session, if the host or presenter saves the poll results before closing the meeting or while closing the meeting, if those results are saved, every single response can be tracked back to each and every individual. If the results aren't saved, then they're lost forever. <laughs> there are five steps to giving a poll in your WebEx session. First is load the question. Now you learned in the previous tutorial, tutorial number one in this series, how to create a new poll or how to open a previously saved poll. But just get the poll in place first. The next step is to click the open poll button. It's in the lower right corner over here. When you click the open poll button, then the poll is automatically placed in the front of the screen of every participant. Doesn't matter if they're in full screen view or they're in standard screen view, it will pop into their active screen. As people click on their response and then click on the submit button, you'll be able to see the answers as they come in because this is all live up here and you'll see the bars changing as the responses come in. You'll also be able to monitor it at the bottom of the screen because there is a place down here where it tells you the polling status, who's not started it, how many are in progress taking it now, and how many have finished. When you see that everybody has finished that you're expecting, then it's time to close the poll. The next step then is to go in and click share poll results. People cannot see the response until you share it. So down at the bottom where it says share with attendees, you're just going to click on share poll results. And then you're also going to click on the apply button that will become active. When you click on apply, then everyone is going to be able to see the responses in a graph form on their computer. Look at the wonderful feedback that you'll get if you save the poll results in Training Center or in Event Center. You'll receive in your folder for that particular meeting, you'll receive an HTML version of any poll result that you save. And that same poll result will also be shown in an Excel spreadsheet. Now these are two different polls, doesn't matter, I just wanted you to see the results. Every answer can be tracked back to the individual, so we know how many people responded to the poll and that Tyra said B and Jake said C, and here are their answers, B and C. You can also do the same thing in the Excel spreadsheet. Now, in just a moment, I'll show you the feedback from Meeting Center, but let me tell all of you, no matter which platform you're using, where to find the files. When you are the host and presenter, when you exit the meeting, it says, do you want to save the file? I want you to notice this meeting number that's on here. Automatically, when you say yes, then it will set up a folder in your My Documents library. And here is that same meeting number. See it? And here is the date and time that that meeting was over and was saved. This is one way to go and track those documents. Now, if you double click in that My Document folder for the meeting, then it will show you what's inside. Here's the poll for the Meeting Center. And here's the whiteboard that I did. And then if you double click on that poll, it will open it up in notes, or you can open it up in Excel if you, if you specify that. But again, it gives you what the poll results were, and it shows you who put what response on there. And so it is tracked. It may not look as elegant in this file, but it is just as useful of information. Now I want to share something really cool with you about the WebEx polling feature. It's something that most people never use and don't even know about. Well, I'm going to let you in on my secret. Now I mentioned that the default responses for WebEx polls are anonymous within the session, but you can actually publish them in the session, and it's really kind of cool when you do that. So let me show you how to set it up, and then we'll take a look at what it looks like. I think you're really going to like it. So when you're going to use the WebEx polling feature, and you do want to share the results that are tracked back to the individual in your session, we're going to be paying attention to this record individual responses box down here. The first thing you want to do is tell your team, uh, I'm going to give you a warning that I'm going to give you a WebEx poll, but your answers are going to be published and all of us are going to see them. You need to give this warning because this is a trust issue. The second thing then is you want to go down into this WebEx polling feature and you want to check mark before you open the poll this record individual responses. 
that will allow everyone when they get their WebEx poll to get a little message on their WebEx poll that says your answers are not private. <laughs> the next thing you do then is you click the open poll button. And the open poll button is going to then open that poll so everybody can take it and put their response into whatever the poll question is that you put out there. The next is when you see all the responses are in, then you want to go ahead and close the poll as we learned earlier. But before sharing all of those results, come down to this section of the polling window that says share with attendees. Notice there are two items that we can check mark. You're going to check both poll results and individual results. Checking both of these allows when you click the apply button for everyone to see everyone else's response within the WebEx meeting. And look at the elegant feedback that you'll be able to see and everyone else will be able to see in the WebEx meeting. It's really like sharing an, a live application and so you'll be able to actually scroll through it if you have several questions or many people in your session. It's absolutely awesome. And so let's recap this important foundation that WebEx polls by default are all anonymous responses within the WebEx session. But now you know that we can change that. If results are saved in any WebEx session, the responses are tracked back to the individual. You might be saying, wow, who gave me permission to do that? Well, next time you get a WebEx invitation, I want you to read that little quote at the bottom that says you get permission to be recorded in the session. That includes your responses being recorded. Once you learn how to operate WebEx, you're going to want to take your WebEx sessions to the next level. We offer awesome training to teach you how to make your webinars engaging, interactive, and fun. We have one for online presenters, how to wow your webinar audience. If you're doing one-hour webinars, you want this course. Touchnology for online trainers is for online training organizations. We also have a companion course for online course designers. And third of all is online meetings. If everyone's sitting back and watching or multitasking in your WebEx meetings, this class, the CPR for online meetings, is going to put new life in your WebEx sessions. So give us a call, contact us, and we'll tell you more about it. In the interim, I want to thank you for participating in session two today of how to share poll results in WebEx. This is Dr. Jacqueline Costner, the webinar guru. Looking forward to seeing you again in the future. Bye.